After all the controversy over lake encroachments in Bangalore, the preservation of lakes has become a big agenda among citizens. While the government is working on regulations to preserve lakes, private organizations and real estate developers are also aiming to do their bit. Lakshmi Sivdas reports. It is a city with over 200 lakes, but most are either encroached upon or are dying. But this lake, the Sita Rampalya Lake in Whitefield, has received a new lease of life, all thanks to rejuvenation efforts from Bangalore-based developers, the Brigade Group. It used to be a dead lake with no water in it, but not anymore. The extent of this lake, lake is about 23 and a half acres. So the whole lake was nearly filled with construction debris and wastes that were dumped over the years. We had to clear all this uh, debris, then we formed the bund around the lake. Feeder channels were all uh, cleared and with this uh, the lake actually started filling up. Over the last two seasons of rains, we saw a lot of inflow of water into this lake. The lake rejuvenation project was taken up by the brigade group at a cost of 1 crore rupees. Now that the lake is almost revived, it will soon be handed over to Bangalore's corporator for maintenance. Although the rejuvenation project was taken up as a CSR activity, the developers say that it will also help the customers of their project located near the Sita Rampalya Lake. In fact, the Brigade Group aren't the only developers looking to take up initiatives to preserve lakes in the city. Bangalore-based developers like the Prestige Group and Nitesh Estates are also exploring options to help revive lakes. The Prestige Group, for instance, will be adopting Lake Karahalli near its golf shop property at the Nandi foothills and will be in charge of its maintenance for at least 10 years. Apart from this, they will also be taking up maintenance and beautification of the city's famous Alsur Lake, near which their project with the Hilton is expected to take shape. Real estate industry bodies say that they have renewed efforts to ensure that developers maintain lake ecosystems in the city. All our members who are having this building of particular size and above have the treatment plan, they ensure its functionality, where the problem will come is we hand over the responsibility of the equipment put. The associations in perpetuity, the owners, should maintain it. People who are investing in these neighborhoods where uh, development has been taken care of, the neighborhood cleanliness, neighborhood development, neighborhood ecosystem balance, restoration, garbage management, these are done. The investor triples or four times his investment in a short period and he enjoys the neighborhood. It has a premium value than the other areas. Most of the lake revival projects being undertaken by developers are in collaboration with various NGOs, but environmentalists have a different set of fears. The PPP model is okay, provided all the stakeholders of the lake are intact. You know, if everybody is allowed to take the, the benefit of the lake, the goods and services of the lake, I have no problem with that. But what is happening with these PPP models? See, I have studied some other lakes, for example, Hebal and Nagavara. Local people are deprived of entering the lake and doing the fishing. You know, that is the livelihood of the people. The government should make sure that stakeholders, our rights are not infringed by the, uh, the people who enter into PPP agreement. Experts say another way to preserve lakes is by empowering and funding resident welfare associations to monitor them. From Bengaluru, with camera persons Nazir and Govind, Lakshmi Shivdas for NDTV.